natural way is important to natural health, basically, to everybody. I started off in the year 2000 opening up a small health food store specializing in natural medicines. I'm Patty Gessling, and me and my husband Earl own the natural way. Earl is the chef, and I do everything else, basically. Um, I started dating Earl five years ago. Actually, he was a chef at a restaurant that I ate at, and he, I guess, had a crush on me. <laughs> he lured me in with his cooking, and then it just blossomed after that. We bought the building, he put in the restaurant, and I brought all my stuff over. What we do for food, we use all organic ingredients. Earl tries to get some local things, or we draw in from other sources, and it's all basic, real, home-cooked food. And we have a nice compliment to um, Mayville here, right on Main Street. You, you can hold, I can hold the door for you. There we go. All right. <laughs> so we are back from the hunt. Kyle, I'd like to introduce you to my friends, Earl and Patty. Earl, pleasure. Patty, Hello. nice Thank to meet you. you. I have heard amazing things about you and your cooking from these two, but we came hungry without any ducks. Can you help us? <laughs> okay, yeah, we do have a few back there. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, well, should we just sit down at the counter and yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of lean in? Seat. All right, terrific, thanks. And so what's laid before us? Okay, um, what we have here uh, first is a duck meatball. Mm -hmm. um, and in the back we have some uh, marinated duck breast. Marinated in? Uh, a little dark beer. Some Could juniper, uh, some, some shallot, garlic. So mixing the beer and then the essence of gin together with the juniper and the dark beer. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I like where you're going. Nice fall flavors. I don't know which I'm more excited about. I'm gonna start with the meatballs. Um, we're gonna take them and we're gonna sear them off, give them a little brown, throw them back in the pan, pop them in the oven, and then we can cook the duck breast while that's, uh, those are finishing up. So, so what's the uh, ratio that you did on these meatballs of pork to duck? It's uh, about half and half. Okay. For the pork, I actually used a, um, uh, some pork loin, uh, which oh. generally I would use a shoulder, but yeah. I just, I use what I have. Um, so I thought throwing the bacon in there would add a little fat and a little smokiness and salty. And, makes everything good. And these are also nice. Doing a meatball is something where you can cut some of the, um, uh, cut some of the meat off the legs, uh, take some off the back. If the breast has a few holes in it, maybe it's not too pretty uh, and you don't want to do it as a whole breast, you can grind it up. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's a nice option to, to, to utilize all, everything. Oh, does that smell good? Wow. Yeah. That's ducky porky goodness. That's, that's that little bit of bacon in there. So these are like, okay. I'm guessing these are about medium rare. I'm looking at the sear that you have on these. And then, um, let me just take and then you pop it in the convection oven? Yep, pop in my little oven here. Now while this is good and hot, we have our, um, our duck breast. Wow, I mean that's why duck breasts are so flavorful and duck fat is delicious. Yeah, so we got that, this good and hot and it already has a, um, a nice layer of oil on it. I like how you were teasing there with a little So you can see in the pan like how much, uh, we had basically a dry pan to yeah. start and now, you know, we have a Look at that, look little at bit that. A little bit of duck fat in I there mean, for sure. Look at how much they've shrunk up. Yeah. You know, the nice little score lines. Yeah. It actually, um, it cooked um, more evenly. Yeah, it browned up nicely. Yep. And I would never want to pass up the deliciousness of crispy duck skin. Now what's going on there, my friend? You need salt, but this is crispy duck skin. This is like, duck skin. I, this is great. I just mentioned that I love delicious crispy duck, duck skin, skin chip. I and thought. you hand me some. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. I just want to curl up in a ball of happiness right now. That is so delicious. This doesn't need salt. That looks like a. a a finely done sausage yeah. as you cut them open. It's almost got that that uh, uh, mortadella look. Yeah. With the, the different different colors. You can see the, um, with the uh, seasoning, the pork, mm -hmm. you know, and then the, the duck in there, and there's some breadcrumbs. Yeah. You know, everything was left pretty. Um, it's pretty rustic. So. I like how you're going, ladies first. Thank you. Jen, here's the difference between you and I. Is I would have just gone in with my fingers and popped one in my mouth. And being presentable. Yeah, yeah. Giving. That is incredible. Awesome. Mm. Mm, 
That's fantastic. I'm going in. Oh, you're also right. This is great. This is this is great. You should. It's got just a perfect little about amount of pink in there too. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll join you. This is so great because the flavor of the duck comes through, but then it keeps descending into more flavors. I'm on my fifth or sixth. This, you should make more meatballs because the combo of the pork and the duck and whatever seasonings you use, really subtle and nice. You can taste the pork in there and the bacon wow. really brings it all together. This is even inspiring me. We take our, our duck home and we cook it, but this is inspiring me to take it to so many different levels. Mm -hmm. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so in this ridiculous but fabulous crescendo of duck flavors, what's next? Um, well, next we move on to the, uh, the duck breast. And then are you gonna uh, slice them up or how yep. do you, yeah, okay. Yeah, then we'll slice them up. So that is red and meaty and delicious looking. And look at the way that the fat rendered yeah. out. Yeah, see, you still got that medium rare in there. I mean, it's almost like a... Yeah, nice and crispy skin. Waterfowl prime rib right here. Wow. This is the happiest that I've been. I have a happy life. This is the happiest that I've been in a long time. That's delicious. Good. Now you gotta try it with some sauce. That's delicious and authentic and gorgeous because it's wild duck. Yeah, it's going to be a real burden to eat, everybody. The sauce is fabulous. Got to get a cranberry in here. Mmm. Juniper, cranberry. The thing, too, is it's not tough. Mm -mm. Oh, no. It is like prime rib. Mm -hmm. Prime rib of duck. Mm. Well, the, the flavors are uh, all very complementary. You know, there's not one flavor overpowering the other flavors, and they all kind of hold their own and give that the, the beautiful taste, overall taste that it has. So, thus far, I have uh, thought, gosh, it'd be great if I had some crispy duck skin and you materialize some. What's your next wish? I Right, yeah, this is, I'm <laughs> loving how this is going. Seriously, you're like my own personal culinary genie. It's, it's, the, it's the bald head, you know. Continuing on this duck theme, how do you wrap up with the dessert? Well, we finish with some uh, duck confit. <laughs> Naturally, wild duck legs. The legs are one of those items that I found with uh, people come to me like, what do you do with them? They don't know what to do, so. And um, to me, I think you kind of treat them like a chicken wing. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and so I give it about 12 hours of uh, cure time with the salt. And then I um, uh, washed them off, covered them in duck fat, and threw them in the oven on about 180 degrees, or maybe a little less, um, overnight. And then we fried them up in a skillet. So two things. Uh, everything's better when covered in duck fat for 24 hours. Yes. And this is a rare occasion. This is actual wild duck. This is definitely a treat for a chef to get uh, the wild game brought into him. You know, we want to um, do a preparation that pays homage to that and the respect to the bird that gave its life here so we could have a crispy duck leg. Hey, you know what's really interesting here and that you can tell this is wild duck is you, we had three different sized duck legs on there. Right. Mallard, yeah. wood duck, shoveler, I don't remember what else was brought in. Could but be a widgeon, you know. Certainly yeah. gives you a good sense of different sizes of ducks. Oh man, that's more than dessert. Saltiness, pepperiness, That's so good. This is the compression of everything that I love about the flavor of duck. The crispy skin, that rich umami, almost towards even a, a beefy, gamey flavor, but mixed with a, a foul yeah. kind of texture and flavor. This is so good. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Really nice preparation, Chef. Nicely done. Thank you. Awesome. This was just wonderful. Just and I got a new idea to take mm -hmm. it. Thank you so much, everybody. I mean, Keith, we've been on hunts before, but yep. this far surpasses anything. You're welcome. Mark, Jen, you were just terrific guides. The conversation in the blind and what Horicon means to you, it's, it's deep in your hearts. It's really terrific, yeah. And Chef, I know it was never disputed, but dude, you can cook. Thank you. Yeah, nice job. Nice. Thank you. Thank you.